it's very important to be very cautious with our interactions, sharing information, very personal information, your name, your email address, and all that. You need to be very sure with whom you are interacting before you give out such information. So usually I tell my people, if your name is Joseph, for a time being you can tell the person my name is Emmanuel. There's nothing wrong about it. It's for our own security. You want to be very sure of who you are interacting with before you uh, give out any information. So, hey brother, you gotta put up a little bit. I don't want this guy to, to give me a hard time. So, this year. to your left, your right, that is Ritamale Studio. But then it's now under a new management. Someone else has taken over in Coca Cola. So, um, we'll, but then she set up a foundation. I noticed, that, I, I noticed they kept the line yeah. though. They kept the line. They removed everything else except the line. I do not want to run into any difficulty and so down, this is, on you should property see, you rights. Should see so, foundation yeah. right here coming. That was it, right? So, yeah, so what we just so passed by, um, that was the foundation. Yeah. So basically, family, uh, the uh, Rita Molly uh, Studio One uh, is owned by someone else, but at the same time, too, what she has is a uh, Rita Molly Foundation, which is still an operative. Uh, I don't have any updates uh, to share with you on it, but uh, you know, once we come back down, uh, we will talk with the people from the uh, wood carving village, and I'm sure they can give us some updates. Uh, but uh, you know, that's a, that's a legendary name, you know, the the great you know, mother of civilization. You know, you know I'm always thinking about uh, Winnie Mandela, but uh, we just saw, uh, oh, but you know, the more modern is uh, you know, Rita Marley, and uh, she has been responsible for just literally just. Building that energy of, you know, for our husband and for our family and for you know our beautiful island of Jamaica. So we always appreciate and love her for our dedication and work. And uh, you know that's what I always uh, was always impressed about coming to Studio One when it was actually live and active. Uh, but it's uh, now it's just uh, you know, something we talk about. All right, so Pius, uh, we are literally. Um, let, let me know when we leave in um, Avery because right now this is all Avery. Right. Yes, we are in a brain out to your done. left. We are passing by an all-female senior high school. An all-female senior high school. It is a class A institution. It's a class A institution. We have grading for the senior high schools in the country. And this is one of the top most in the country. And it's all female. It's all female. This is the township of uh, uh, the outskirts of Eburi, A B U R I. Now the weather here, because of the elevation, is, is cold. It's cold. So during the colonial times, uh, the British, the Danes, the Dutch, they all come over here at the weekend to re condition themselves to recuperate after yeah, all the accidents on the, the coast you gotta be bad the and the phone. heat so they come here for resetting their, their emotions and others before going back to the city uh, after the weekend to our right we will be passing by we are passing by the craft market as i told you all along on both sides of the street You'll be seeing a number of carvings. We will come, so don't you worry. We will come. We are going to the orphanage now in the town called Tutu. The town called Tutu. T U T U. There is part of our history which is not very much confirmed, but it makes a lot of meaning that the first king of the Asante Kingdom, King Osei Tutu. His mother got married to an Ekuyamu. And the Akans, they practice matrilineal system of inheritance. Now, she was having, and so when a king passes on, it is not his children that ascend the throne. It is the sister's children. And the sister 
was having difficulty with childbirth. And the, man, the, the husband who was in the Kiamu, not far from this place, uh, had the woman come to a shrine in this town that we are going to, to do. And through the intervention of the deity, the, uh, the child was born. He had that child. His name is Jose Kofi. But then they added the name Tutu to it. That's the name of the date. Letting us know that that child is a gift or is, uh, has come at us as a result of the intervention of the date. Like I said, it is not fully confirmed, but that's the information I have, a number of people have. That type of names, we do have them. People, that category of names, we call them theophoric names. Don't worry about that. When I begin to talk about names, we will go into that. But for now, my brothers and sisters, we are on the Ikiapi Togo ranges. And in the part of Embry, we are just getting out of the Embry Township. The township itself is to our left. And that's the road we have passed on is the bypass to avoid congestion in the town. The road that passes through the town itself is very narrow. No constructed during the colonial days when you don't have this type of vehicles. It passes through a lot of towns. And these people, they came under the influence of the days and then the Dutch. The days, no, the days and the British more. The Dutch had very little influence over these people over here. And when we get to Accra, hopefully tomorrow when, uh, no, on Monday when we are having a city tour, you'll be amazed to know that Accra alone we have British Accra, we have Danish Accra, we have Dutch Accra. Just one community divided among three groups. I will leave that for Monday. <laughs> okay. And the implications on the people. We'll leave that and handle it when we are on the spot.